what you need is any color but a thin brush like this. A thin brush of nail polish. So like that. I'm using yellow, blue, white, and silver. So um, mine is by Art De Deco. I like colors. So I like it a lot. And then here's my white. It's by Kiss Nail Art Paint. And then this is by the same brand. But it's like silver and glitter. I like that one a lot. And then the color I'm using for my base is blue and it's by Pure Ice. I really like it. And you'll need a pair of nail clippers with with the one of these at the end of it. That which cleans under your nail. Or if you it doesn't come with that, you can use a toothpick or something. But this is really handy. So, and you'll need a nail file. Okay, so first you're gonna start off. If you have nail clippers, what you want to do is you want to have this. You want to have, like, hopefully if you don't have, if, like, if you have nail clippers or if it doesn't come with, um, a cleaner with it, then, like, you can use, like, a toothpick or something. But I think this is really handy because it comes with the clippers. Okay, so what you're going to do is you use this end and you're going to like, if you see all the gunk and dirt under your nail, you're going to get it out with the thing, not like you don't push too hard though. And like this nail, it doesn't really have some stuff, but I'm going to go under it just in case, just to be safe. And and then you do your other hand. Okay, so now what you need is the nail file. This, if you tried the Sally Hansen um, salon. The, I forgot what it's called. It's like the salon effects. Yeah, the Sally Hansen salon effects. It came with this, and I really like it, so I've been using it. But what you want to do is with this side, the um, the pink side. What you want to do with it is, if you haven't used a normal nail file, is you're gonna just nail file your nails. Until there's a smooth edge on your nail. And then what you want to do is, if you don't have it on there, then you're fine. But I like this because it's really helpful. But with the white side, if you have the you still have the file from Salon Effects. You rub it on the top of your nail. Like, on your nail. You just rub it. I usually rub it for at least like 10 seconds. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's really soft. Okay, so now you're going to paint the base of your nail, whatever color you want it to be. And if you run out of paint on that side, switch to the other. Keep just 
doing that. And then for some of the nail polish, you want to do a second coat on it, so it's so you're safe. Okay, so after you're done painting the base of your nail, the base coat, a solid blue, you're going to take the yellow or whatever color you chose and start doing a tic-tac grid. So what you, a tic-tac-toe grid. So what you're going to do is you, actually you don't move the brush. What you're going to do is you move your finger like it. So you're going to go two vertical lines. If you can't really see it, you can go over it. Like my yellow. And then do the second vertical line. You might want to do a vertical line and like go over that line. My nail polish is not really working right now. And you just go over those two lines. And then for the horizontal line, you're going to you move your thumb, not your, not the brush. So you just go like this. And that it's really easier. You can't really see it, so you can go over it. Ooh. So I just usually go over it. it. Might be hard to see a little, but it's fine. Nope, it ends up clearing up. So I'm just gonna go over it one more time, just to be safe. And then you're gonna do the second horizontal line. I'm going to go over that again, and then you just, you paint your other ones and you wait for it to dry. Okay, so once you're done with the lines, you, after it's all dry, you're going to use the next color and you're just going to repeat it but you're going to maybe do that next to it like right beside it if you can see you just put it like right on the side then you just do two vertical lines, same thing you just did, but you're going to go over it into the side. And then, just do that. And then, do the next horizontal line. And then you have that one. Oh my God. 
and you have that done. And then you move on to the next step. Okay, and then lastly, you want to you want to add some glitter polish with this with the glitter striper. Just line it up like this, and just do that. And so it stays the best. You want to um, keep both hands rested on the table as you do this. You can see it. This is what it looks like after the glitter polish is done. And then, if you want to, add a, add a top coat, and you're all done.